This is a review of the Kerrig 2.0 model number 450. No longer do you have to go one cup at a time of Joe in your family if you have multiple coffee drinkers in your home. Honey, take it away. This is the Kerrig 450 black with the silver trim. It's got a nice size water reservoir. It's got the uh, LCD screen. Um, the 550 has a little bit bigger screen, a little bit bigger water reservoir, and the night light, you can change colors, and basically that's all the difference is between the 450 and the 550. So you take your K-cup, and by the way, the 2.0, in order to use this, you can't use the old K-cups or a third-party brand. You need to use their brand because it has their little logo, and there's a optical reader in here that reads this and if you don't have it in there it won't let you make the k-cup but we'll show you a hack later on on how to get by using your own coffee or any brand it so you take your a little cheapier so you take your k-cup mm -hmm. you put it in there you close it up and you can adjust what size coffee cup you want six four eight um, you can make it strong or regular let's make an eight ounce cup and all you have to do is push the button and it will start making your coffee. And let's see what the temperature is of the coffee. It got up to 159 degrees which I found that if you ran, run it once and run it again, it'll get up to about 175 to 178 degrees. Because it doesn't usually get that hot. So let's try it again. I'm just going to empty this and run it through, and we'll see if the temperature goes up. And now we'll see if the temperature is going up. And that temperature got up to 175 degrees. So you're saying that if you do it Usually, twice, you'll get a hotter cup of joe? Yes. So sometimes I run just water through it, the first cup, and then I put the K-cup in and make a cup of coffee. And it comes out much hotter. Very interesting. And they have different varieties. they got Starbucks. they got all different kinds. French vanilla and all kinds of things to suit every coffee drinker's palate, and it also makes hot water for hot cocoa and tea. The only thing, this coffee maker is about a month old, and this drainage reservoir gets scratched up very easily. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it's all, you know, it's all scratched up, and I don't think it should be scratched up after a month of use. It looks like it's about two years old. It also makes a carafe, which is a fortified... A carafe. It also... Okay, why is it? It also makes a carafe, which is about four or five cups. All you have to do is pull this out and take the carafe and stick it in. It also helps if you heat this, put hot water in this first and let it sit there for a couple minutes and then dump it out and then fill it up. It'll keep the coffee much warmer. And that's all you do is slide it in, put it there, and when you're done, you pull it out. And That's if everybody wants the same type of coffee. Put that back in. And you want the family pot. So this is the first model that you can make more than one cup at a time, correct? Correct. And usually I drink more than one cup. That's why my hands are shaking. Yes, I do notice that. If you want to make your own cup of coffee, Folgers, Maxwell House, whatever you like. Cheaper. Cheaper, instead of using the K cups, you can buy the Solo Fill 3. And I found this is the only one that fits in here um, because the other ones don't go in all the way. Okay, what you do is you get an old K cup, you take the inside out, and you take a straight razor. You just got to be very careful. And you go right up. Ah, there goes his finger. Right up to the edge, and you cut the rim off. I don't... I'm 
You don't want. I don't usually do it like this. I use a different razor, but for the video, I'm just doing it quick. It's not going to come out all that perfect. You really don't need all that much. Some people use the whole rim. Today, I'm going to try it with just a piece of it. Because, like I said, it only has to go on the optical reader. Fascinating. So, you don't have a coffee drink? you just mm -hmm. take a little piece of tape, and I put it on here. And I line it up where I think the optical reader is going to be, which is on the left-hand side. Pop that in, and when you close it, it reads it. And that's using the Solo Fill 3. I got it at Target for about 12 bucks, And I can put any kind of coffee I want in there. And Steve's it's much cheaper. lots of money in the long run. And it will brew a nice cup of coffee. Unless you've got it like that. There we go. And it works. Perfect for bleary-eyed new moms and dads and uh, those hangover date nights. Like More I said, for those know, addicts who just need to have their hands sh quivering all day long. Like I said, the only thing I don't like is sometimes the first cup you make, it won't be 175 to 178 degrees. It might be cooler. And then if you put milk in it, it's going to make it even cooler. So I usually try and make... Just hot water the first round, and then after that, it usually heats up to about 175 to 178 degrees. And what does this unit sell for? Uh, about $169 to about $129, depending on where you buy it. And we know that we've had about 15,000 different coffee makers other than the Keurig in the house. Would you say you like this one better than I do Mr. Like coffee this one. and all those? Yes, Lower end models. I do like this one better than the Mr. Coffee and all the other models, the Cuisinarts. Uh, this one I like very much. And this one got up to 169 degrees. So it does vary. Um, like I said, if you like hot, hot coffee, um, you might not like it that much. Uh, I put milk in it and then I probably nuke it a little bit. So you end up going for the nuke. Okay, well, some people I'm sure it will suffice. People like it burning hot. It's like the Jerry Seinfeld episode. Coffee's supposed to be hot, but not that hot. Well, thank you there, Daddy O, for taking time out to review the Keurig 2.0 with model number 450. And is that all? And when it runs on low on water, it will tell you to put more water in. You can either fill it up with a pitcher right at the machine, or you can take this reservoir off and take it to the sink and fill it. This comes off to clean. There's the filter. Um, and that's pretty much it. When you're done, you fill it. And it you just have to replace this filter? Two. Yeah, it'll tell you when to replace it. And how much do those cost? Uh, they're a few bucks per... Uh, I forget how many come in a pack. Um, I but every a... coffee maker has them, right? Well, some people use them, some people don't. Um, I think I found when I... I don't know if it was because we first got the machine, but when I first got the machine and put the filter in, it tasted a little funny, and I think it was due to the filter. But then again, that could be me. But since I've been using it about a month now, I don't taste the funny taste. So I'm thinking that it was probably the filter. Um, I'll know when I put a new one in, because this one's not expired yet. Very good. Okay, so that is the review of the Keurig 2.0 model 450, baby. Thank you for taking time out with Impossible, where anything's possible if you put your mind, your body, and your soul into it. Take care.